Sharon and I'm from the Duke NUS class of uh, uh, 2013. Uh, I used to be a dentist and I practiced for two years before I came into Duke NUS. So before this, uh, I used to work in the National Dental Centre, which is also part of the SGH complex. Um, yeah, so down there I did uh, some general dentistry and I saw some different postings and the uh, different dental specialties, like paediatrics, like uh, oral uh, surgery, that sort of thing. I didn't mind dentistry in the sense that there was a lot of procedural-based um, things which I quite enjoyed. But then the thing is that at the end of the day, I felt that I wanted to do a little bit more because at the end of the day, dentistry is a very limited field and the learning curve is, I guess, once you reach, once you graduate, effectively it does flat deals off and the rest is just about work, you know, just about uh, effectively earning money, <laughs> that sort of thing. Whereas in, I thought that medicine would give me a greater breadth of exposure to different types of patients, could make a bigger difference. There's research, there's like so much to learn all, all the way, so yeah, that's why I thought, you know, while I was still quite young, I should consider doing medicine, yeah, that's why I applied. I guess transition-wise, in terms of subject matter, it is, I guess you could say it's a little bit easier, but then on the other hand, um, even though we went through all the basic sciences in dentistry, it was quite touch and go, so uh, I guess by the time, uh, you reach a few years of working in dentistry, you, yeah, you kind of lose touch with the medicine stuff. But I think what dentistry really helps you is the fact that you know how to interact with patients. You know, they are not, they are not like you know this abstract concept patients, but more that you know you you have spoken to them before. You you, you know how to handle patients whether they are difficult or you know just coax them that sort of thing. So I think that that is the real value that dentistry added. Yeah. Yeah, I chose Duke NUS because, um, first of all, it's a graduate medical school, so the students here will be more mature, and also there's this emphasis on research, which is quite different from the other medical schools. Basically, practice course in the first year is a course that um, teaches you to think like a doctor. I mean, I think that that's one of the course uh, objectives. So uh, you learn how to do physical exams on not real patients or standardized patients. So I guess you, know, you have, in a way, more room to make mistakes. And also they go through things like um, uh, some ethics-based questions as well as how to handle you know, difficult situations in, uh, that are bound to come up in medical practice. I guess um, it's very good to have a framework uh, of how to examine patients. So when you first go to a patient and you have no idea what they have, you, know, you can just use the practice course framework, which is, I mean, quite, it's, it's a good way to you know, think of things and just structure it properly. Um, so I guess, um, yeah, that's, that's very useful. And also the, the patient, how to handle difficult patients uh, and uh, how to, handle any ethical issues that come up, yeah, that's all quite helpful and I think a lot of us found that it came in quite useful in the second year and all this. I think that, um, yeah, this has been a very, very eventful and very meaningful journey to be a medical student all over again after, you know, having had a career effectively for the past three years. Um, but, yeah, it has been something that I definitely think I'll do again. Um, the school has been a very supportive place and I think that now that I'm in my final year, I think more or less, I think I'm quite ready to go and be a doctor. I think the AS is a good school. Um, I think that the faculty is very supportive and we are lucky in the fact that we get uh, a lot of um, very senior staff from SGH that come over and teach us. I guess um, the thing is that you probably have to do a lot of self-directed learning because the course is very compressed. Ba having a basic undergraduate degree, you know, it shouldn't really need to be spoon-fed so, too much. So, I mean, no, so far I've not noticed that any of my, uh, my classmates have a problem with that. 
ya everyone manages to catch up even those people who don't didn't come from a science background so it's not really an issue ya I'm not sure if the interview format has changed but um ya yeah, don't be too worried about it just go and I mean the interviewers are nice people let's talk to them and be honest and just tell them you know how you how you really face they usually will ask you some situational based questions just tell them how you really face it because i think that i mean if you are honest and you are a good fit yeah you will probably get in yeah.